welcome to my channel if you are new here hello you are spiritually connected with katiba that's for sure all right so love takes time y'all like love takes time love is not a thing that you should rush into rather that's a intimate relationship or anything any type of relationship like even with your family learn to know why you love them not just to love them just because they're your family learn the things that you love about them so i think that in a lot of intimate relationships they fail because for one we we expect things from each other that we don't even provide ourselves. Like, we attract who we are. We don't attract what we want. So everybody wants this perfect fairy tale, but we, we're not that perfect fairy tale to give or whatever. So, you know, I think that these are the things that should be worked on before you get into a relationship. I think that you should learn to love yourself unconditionally before you get into an intimate relationship i also think that you should work on all of your flaws work on do your shadow work like work on the things that's holding you back work on the things that's hurting you because hurt people hurt people so when you get into these relationships and you got all this hurt from the past that you haven't let go of yet now you're pushing that stuff off onto your partner whether you see it or not whether you recognize it or not you know these this is the type of stuff that the arguments really be about because um you know people haven't done that that shadow work or that that inner work within themselves to be able to have that love to give to be able to have that unconditional love to give so you know like i said we attract what we are and a lot of people just they're hurt um they have a lot of work that they need to do and it, it takes first to admit it so if you have yet to admit your flaws within your personal reality you know you're not going to be able to or it's going to make it harder for you to admit that um your flaws in a relationship or whatever or to be accountable for the flaws in the relationship that has something to do with you you know the 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 stuff that's holding you back in a relationship that has something to do with you so i think another thing is honesty um you know we need to be more honest within our relationships we get into these relationships and we jump right into intimacy so this is why love takes time if you jump right into intimacy now that's the main factor of your relationship that's what you build in your relationship off of a lot of deep conversations aren't had like of course in the beginning we have those 20 21 questions that we ask oh just you know normal stuff which favorite color would you like to eat like that stuff isn't really that important i think the type of stuff that we need to ask is um it's stuff on a more deeper level like do you see yourself being married do you see yourself having children um you know why didn't your last relationship work out what part did you play in that you know because every time when we ask somebody like why didn't your last relationship work out they always put it on the other person nine times out of ten so something that we need to start asking or that we should start asking our partners is what part did you play in the relationship not working um you know a lot of people cheat and you know cheating is like marriage it's like a societal thing but going into the relationship you need to set those boundaries we don't set boundaries like you know my partner and i when we got into our relationship we didn't set boundaries and it took years for us to actually um 
to start setting those boundaries after, you know, many, many arguments and we're still setting boundaries because now we're realizing actually what we want out of a relationship when in all actuality we should have did that in the beginning before we fell deeply in love because this is what happens. People fall deeply in love and now it's so much stuff that they don't like about the person but if you would have just asked or if you would have just set your boundaries if you had just let them know hey cheating is a deal breaker so you know have you ever cheated or what could we do to make this work you know as to where you don't have to cheat like cheating is very broad like cheating is not just um Oh, you went and had sex with someone else cheating someone can feel like you cheated just by I mean I think this is the most ridiculous one but just by looking at somebody that you are attractive to you know in an attractive way but um you know texting somebody that's cheating in a lot of people's eyes but I think that if you set those boundaries hey I don't mind you looking at people just don't do it when we're together don't give people the eye don't be flirty when we're together you know um in relationships it's whatever you make it like a lot of most i think most of the, the world or most of society um the u.s for one we based our relationships off of society standards which is that you have to be in this monogamous relationship and if someone does this this or that now they're cheating and the relationship is off there's nothing you can do some people take the people back and some people feel like oh if you take them back you're dead wrong but imagine if you went into a relationship and said hey and this is for this i'm speaking to the cheaters right now imagine if you went into the relationship and said you know i've i've heard many people in my lifetime you know, I've hurt people just based off my actions of cheating. Out of this relationship, I would like to be able to flirt with people while I'm out. I would like to be able to text and talk to other people. You know, I don't have to be on an intimate level. Um, but if it's okay with you, then maybe it could be on an intimate level. Um, you know, would you like to know or would you like to not know or whatever? You know, if you like to know, you know... Of course, nobody can come back and say, hey, I did X, Y, Z without you being able to say, you know, I already know that's none of your business. I know what's going on within my household. Imagine if you came and you was 100% honest. Now your relationship will work. Now you're not breaking people's heart. Now you're not getting deep into these relationships with people, telling them that you love them and you can love them, but you're doing stuff behind their back. You know, I don't think that's love. That's cheating when you're doing it behind their back. Now, if they already know and they agree to it, you're not cheating. So figure out what type of boundaries you're going to go in um, having within your relationship. And, you know, give that some time. Don't jump right in while you're still getting to know that person and decide, hey, you know, I want to deal with other people. You know, then it's like, what's the point of y'all dealing with each other? You know, give that relationship some time to grow and um be nourished to be mature enough and give yourself that opportunity to be secure enough in your relationship that you know nothing can break you guys apart that you can talk about anything and deal with anything so love takes time y'all go in knowing what you want go in being the best version of yourself of course there's always room for growth but um you know if you are on a path to being the best you that you can be that you, you're always evaluating yourself and growing and striving to be a better person each day i think that those are the best relationships like i wish that i would have before i jumped into my relationship i wish that i would have um you know, did a lot of shadow work, a lot of inner work, figured out exactly what I wanted to do, who I wanted to be before going in. Because what happens is when you don't do that stuff, like I said, you push stuff on your partner. And also they can push stuff on you. You can get wrapped up in, in some stuff 
wrapped up in their way of living because you don't know exactly what you want so it just goes back to that saying um, stand for anything stand for something or fall for anything like that is what goes down in a relationship like um you know if you're firm or you're stern on what you need out of a relationship ask yourself why why do you feel that way are you open at all are you open to um to hear your partner out you know get deep get deep in the beginning and i know it sounds kind of crazy but i think that getting deep on your conversations that is not with sex or intimacy i think getting deep in the conversations before you get intimate will be i think it's a good thing because now you can figure out what you do or don't like about this person and if it's a deal breaker or not how many relationships have you got in that only lasted about 90 days but you gave it up you know after two three weeks like you know just think about that um i know people think that that's you know, it's, it's hard, but the hard things are the best things in life. Like, the best things aren't built overnight. So, you know, I hope y'all think about that. <laughs> I mean, maybe you're in a relationship. Maybe you found you that perfect partner. You know, maybe you haven't, and you're trying to figure out why. Hopefully, these tips helped you guys. Um, I will speak more on it in the future. Until then, I want you guys to stay spiritually used, stay spiritually in tuned, and I will see you guys next time.